Welcome. Today we have with us Vesuda, and I always say her name probably like totally wrong. She has an amazing name. All right, I'm going to have to ask you how to say your name properly again. That's okay. You got it. I got it. Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so she goes by V because the people are like me and they're like, oh no, did I do it? Did I say it right? Did I not say it right? She goes by V's online tutoring. And what I love about V is that um, she loves to be able to expand kids um in and, and their math, uh, their their math thinking. And there are these math contests that are out there, and she prepares them for for them so that they can really enjoy and love math. And one of the things that she has is an amazing website where she has utilized a tool called MailChimp. And MailChimp is a free autoresponder. So when people come to her website, they are able to sign up for her free gift that she has. And then she is able to send them a sequence of emails that give people the opportunity to get to know her more. And this is really great online because people need the opportunity to be able to know, like, and trust you. And these emails are a part of that. The problem is people have been struggling with how to integrate MailChimp and Wix. So we kind of like have come across this, like, this, this sticky point. And V has figured out how to do it. And I've invited her today to be able to show you guys how to do that. So, so welcome, V. I'm glad that you are here. Me too. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure it out, though. It wasn't like straightforward, like all other things that that were there in Wix or even in Mailchimp. But integrating them both and Mailchimp itself is not extremely straightforward. You have to go here, there, everywhere to kind of like work with it. You know, that's really encouraging. I mean, it's not encouraging, but it is encouraging that you struggled as well. Like this wasn't easy for you to figure out. And so I really do appreciate you taking the time to, to be able to, sh to show us how to do it. But once you know what it kinds of like, it keeps repeating. So you can like, do have multiple lists, multiple uh, sign-in forms. You can have as many sign-in forms as possible. So it's one, it, it's just the first time that's a struggle, but once you get to it, it's the same routine every single time. Okay, cool. Yeah, I find that with everything when I learn it the first time. Don't you, when it comes to this online stuff, you, the first time you do it, you're like, oh my gosh, like what are the steps involved? And then once you just go through it one time, you're like, oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, boom, 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 right? <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I'm going to hand it on over to you so you can, you can show us how you were able to get this to work. Can I share my screen? You sure can. That's the only way I think you can show us. <laughs> yes, otherwise it's just not possible with Mailchimp. So here we are. Uh, here's my Mailchimp account. Sorry, I still have a lot of things here. Uh, like you can see, I created multiple lists for having multiple opt-ins. Yeah. So before you even think of integrating our Wix with uh, Mailchimp, the first thing we need to do is create a list. Because for every sign-in form, if you have a list associated with it, it's the easiest way. So that way you know that this list is for this particular mail-in form. And especially if you're trying to create segments within your list. For me, I uh, separate my elementary school students and middle school students. So I have a separate uh, list for kids who are interested in elementary level materials and separate for um, middle school level materials and stuff. So here I'm going to create a list now. So start off with uh, creating a list. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Perfect. So I'm just going to say demo list. And this is the uh, address that people are going to see. And my name. Mm -hmm. And then you can do a short reminder of how you join your list, saying like, hey, you. Um, joined in my website, you're receiving this email because you opted in my, my website. So it's an interesting, uh, useful thing to let the people know that this is how they subscribe, subscribe to your list. And through here, please do enable double opt-in because it's now compulsory. It's always easier. Mm -hmm. Here, you also do have GDPR fields. You can do that or you can have your own privacy policy and do it. 
I do prefer doing it that way because when I enable a GDPR fields here, it just gives me a whole bunch of data and uh, GDPR fields become longer than my landing page itself. Yeah. So currently I'm not going to enable that, but you can just enable it and it will give you a whole bunch of choices as well. Mm -hmm. And I always prefer to do one by one as they uh, happen and I'm just going to save it. So I don't have any contacts there. So I can either import contacts or create a sign-up form. I'm going for uh, creating a sign-up form because this is the form that we're going to be integrating it with Wix. The first thing I do is have a build a form. So we've created a list. So now we're going to build a form so that when somebody enters information in the form, it goes through that list. That's the list is where the email addresses are saved. So I'm going to do a sign up form. So by default, you have email address, first name, last name, address, and phone number. I really don't want to get their address and phone number. So I'm like, if you see here, this is your add a field and field settings. I want my email to be compulsory. So I have a required field here, and it should be visible. But I really do not want my last name, so I keep that hidden. I want their first name, so I make them make it a required field. And then I've hit also hidden their address and their phone number. I don't even want uh, to show these fields to them, the address and the phone number. So this is a basic uh, list, the basic form. Excellent. So once we have this, I'm going to keep saving the fields. So I'm not even going to show them the last field. I'm going to hide this field as last name as well. So I just have my email address, which is required and visible, and the first name, which is required and visible, and then saved. For every single thing, please do hit the save field. Otherwise, it just doesn't uh, remember what you did. Now, with our uh, GDPR becoming compulsory, I'm just going to add one more field where I can say have a checkbox and say privacy settings. So for that, I go to add a field and do check boxes. So that's here. So select this and then field label. Basic uh, wording. I read and agree to the privacy policy. So that's done here as well. So this is my again save field. Basic form that I created. Mm -hmm. And now I again go to sign up forms. And the first thing, remember, I did this form builder. That's where I design my basic form. And now I go to embedded forms. This is the key here. And this is where I edit my fields such that, do you see this copy and paste on your site? Yes. This is the code that I'm going to be copying and pasting in my site. Perfect. So, uh, you can change the form title to whatever you want. If you don't want the lame subscribe to mailing list, um, you can always do. They will come to my site or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, here's your freebie. And then I'm going to do only show only required fields. So my required fields are my email address, first name, and my privacy policy. I should have made a country and a required field, but I did not do that. You can always add more fields as you need. But sure. So that's it. So now um, this is your basic uh, form. This is the code that you're going to be copying and pasting. So I'm just going to say Control C, and this is my website editor, my Wix website. I'm going to add a add. Do you see this plus button? You'll have a lot of things that you can add. This is the same sure. page that. You 
add text, shape, graphics, whatever you want. Hit more, you have HTML iframe. Ah, look at that. Yes, there that is. Uh huh. I got two. <laughs> yeah, it's with the screen sharing, the net kind of slows down and it's also or it takes up bandwidth. Yes, it does. I'm going to make it slightly big so I have. So here, enter code. Mm hmm. That's it. And there it is. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. V, you are a lifesaver. There are so many people that have been struggling with this, and you have just given us the best, like the best demo on, on really how to get that on there. This is this is fantastic. Well done. So this is the shortest version. So first create a list. And then go to sign up forms, create a sign up form. And in sign up forms, you need to go to form builder, uh -huh. build, build your form, make all the necessary fields. Like uh, if you want a name, first name, last name, if you want to add a country, do it. And then um, your standard forms checkbox because now it's compulsory. Okay, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> I can hear him back there. Okay. See, we really are live, you guys. Like this, this is like <laughs> the whole <laughs> part of being live. <laughs> he just comes in and hands on. That's right. That's right. So yeah, so a form builder, build all the form, build your form, do all the necessary fields, and then go to, and then your second step is go to embedded forms. Just give me one minute. I'll just yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah, so, so there are several steps that we have to take in order to be able to be able to get this form on there. But by following the step by step that V is coming on up with, it, it definitely is something that is doable for uh, putting onto Wix. So yeah, fantastic. So then embedded forms, copy the code and paste it in your uh, website. So it's an upside, yeah. if you paste it, just go to add mm -hmm. your HTML more, and then mm -hmm. you have your HTML iframe. Perfect. So that's it. You can always change the colors and play with it a little bit and everything. Yeah, you can always you can always pretty it up. But after you figure out the basics, like that's like the number one thing that you have to be able to do. We could tell you're a math person. You're very like step by step. I love it. <laughs> Actually, no, you should see me doing maths all over the place because, like I said, there are multiple approaches. So it's like, I like to spread out my thoughts. I'm like, hey, you can do this with this way or this way or this way. Just choose whichever you want. Yeah, I was always that student in math class that the, the teachers were like, I need to see your work. And I'd be like, it, it, that is my work. Like, <laughs> but my work was so like all over the place. I'm like, why does it have to be organized? I don't get it. Like, why can't I just have like my my random math there? And why do I why do I have to have it organized for you if I got the right answer? Right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You got to oh, organize your math the way. I, I, I have to be fair. When I work, it's all over the place because my thoughts are like that. But then when yeah. I find show me your answer, it's like organized because yeah. If I have to like see what the other person's thoughts are, if it's all over the place, then I have no idea from as to how it starts and how it ends. Right, you, but you just have to ask them. They'll tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then first that. I did this over here, and then I did this over here, and then that, and then that. <laughs> oh, I get answers like that often. <laughs> I know. Teachers don't have time in the world to do that, do they? <laughs> I, I can see why they didn't like my method. <laughs> it's good. Well, thank you so much for being able to show us. Now, I'm going to ask if anybody has any questions, feel free to, to type them on in. We're more than happy to answer those questions for you um, so that 
you understand how to be able to bring it from MailChimp on over into the Wix. Now, there is another solution too. If you have the paid version of Wix, it does come with an email, um, an email system. And later on this week or next week, I'm not sure, we don't have the date set yet, we're gonna be showing you how you can utilize that as well. So, you know, different systems, different people, what's gonna work for you, what's gonna work for your business. Some people need to, if you need to get started in a super cheap way, a MailChimp is a really cool thing to be able to utilize because you don't have to to pay for it. Now with this one, are you able to set up your autoresponders as well for free or do you have to pay for that feature? Uh, it's free as well. Like uh, once I create my list, I have to again go back and set up uh, my automated email as well. So that's possible too. Great, great. Well, that so makes I it a have, really easy, simple so, solution. So it's like you can have a series of emails set up and each one can ha can have its own triggers and stuff if you uh, get it. Wonderful. Awesome. I love that we are always finding out ways to be able to run our business in the cheapest possible way so that you guys can be able to keep as much money inside of your pocket as you possibly can because you're working hard. You want to spend all this money on all these tools and resources and all that kind of stuff when there's a lot of free res resources out there. Now, next week, we're going to be holding a conference. V is one of our speakers. She is one of our incredibles, tutorpreneur heroes who's going to be speaking. And we are going to be sharing some other resources that people are going to be able to utilize that are um, either cheap or free to run their online tutoring business. Uh, I want you guys to really be thoughtful about the kinds of purchases that you make in your business because obviously the more money you pay for the resources and tools, the more that that cuts into how much money you're able to take home each day. So we want to make sure that you're taking home the most amount of money as possible with using the best resources out there. So definitely come join us to learn more about what those resources are, along with every single step by step um, thing that has to do with your business. Now, if you have not signed up yet for that, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, so that you guys can join us. In fact, I might even have it right here where I can just bring it right on up. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm just going to copy it and I am going to put it in back into my YouTube over here and I'm going to put that link right on in here for you guys in the chat. There we go. It's not, it wasn't like opening up my chat. There we go. So if you want to join us for that conference, definitely join us. And guess what? The conference is only a dollar. <laughs> Again, we're not out here to, you know, make tons of money helping you guys out. We're here to really just be able to share the best information possible with you so that you can run the most effective online tutoring business. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, V, for, for sharing with us how you were able to get that set up. And feel free, you guys, to watch this over and over again so that you can see exactly what steps she took and then take that action and take that step for you as well so that you can see how she did it. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Bye.